Right, hi again, this is Samuel Stewart from Anu Memorial Products with another video regarding the Anu app, which is available in the Google uh, Play Store as well as the Apple uh, App Store. And I want to show you in this video how to uh, create a digital memorial. All right, so once you first go into the app, you're going to see this screen here. I want you to follow along on the screen right here. <clears throat> I'm doing it on my tablet. So when you first come in, you're going to see this screen here and uh, this is the online memorials if you scroll over you can see any favorites if you have favorites we're going to go over that in the other videos as well as you can see any services that are going on near me at this point as well too i want to show you how you can actually create one of these for yourself so it'll show up in the search or in the favorites or near me and what we're going to do is go into the memorial designer now in memorial designer uh, we have the funeral announcements and the thank you notices, which is also in another video. So check for those videos if you want to know how to use those. But we're going to scroll down now here for prayer cards. So now prayer cards is what's going to show up in the online memorials. And these are the templates that we presently have in the prayer cards. Many uh, different styles of templates and we add to them pretty regularly as well too. So let's say we like this one here with the clouds. So I'm going to choose this one here and it gives us a blank template. So once again, you see even like how we design a funeral announcement, we can add text to the top or the bottom. We can add a framed image. Let's go ahead and add a framed image in there um, and click add framed image. We'll go to gallery. I'm going to choose what we were doing before as well too, my little uh, rooster. So we have a picture in there and then uh, on the top, you see it says front and it also says back. We can click on back and we're going to see the back of the prayer card. You know, uh, usually prayer card does have front and back. And the back here is blank. If we wanted to add an image, we can add an image to it. In this case, we're just going to add some text as if it was a poem or something like that. So we'll add Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. Okay. All right, so I'm not going to go through uh, manipulating the text in here. Watch one of the other videos on the announcements. You'll see how to do that. But we're just going to change the size a little bit to make it bigger. Okay. That was uh, some other stuff on my iPad. All right. So we changed the size in here to make it bigger. And now we have a front and back of the prayer card. So we can see the front. We can see the back. All right, and now on the top portion, we'll see it says preview design. Now preview shows us our prayer card that we made. We just have a picture on the front and we have our scripture on the back. All right, so it's nice. Now in this case on the bottom, we can click add to cart. If you do want to purchase the prayer card, we will actually put the prayer card together as far as printing it, laminating it, and sending it out to you. That is an option to have a physical prayer card. But what I want to show you in this video is really just the publish online memorial portion. So we're going to click on publish online memorial. Now when we do that, we're going to see all the information that we need to add in order to publish it. We can put a thumbnail image, so we're going to click on the little plus sign there. We're going to go for gallery again. Let's go back to our chicken photo and we'll go to the other side now. So our little chicken, we can manipulate again if we want to make it bigger, just really focus on the face. And then click done. <clears throat> okay, now let's put the name and we're going to call him John. Last name is Rooster. And the date and time of the service. Now I want to put it for tomorrow's date and we'll just say tomorrow at let's say 4 o'clock p.m. Let's say done. And location is using uh, the Google Maps. So you actually can type the, the name of the location. You should, it'll figure out the address, but I'm gonna type the name of our facility here, Honor You Memorial Products. It jumps up there, I click on it. So it puts the address in already. And all you do at this point here, because you have all the information, you have the date and time, as well as the address, and you have a thumbnail. I'm gonna click Publish the Digital Memorial, and it's finalizing the image, and it disappears and brings you back. So. We'll see that it is published because I put it for tomorrow's date, so it should show up in the near me section because I'm it's in my area. So I go near me, and guess what? We see John Rooster there. We see our little thumbnail image, and he gets added to the list of services that's going to be happening within the next 24 hours in near me. So I can click on John Rooster at this point. I can see the nice design that we made with the front and back of the prayer card. You'll see in the top corner, I can also 
um, share it if I want to just click on that. I can share this prayer card if I want to or the family member wants it to. And I also can heart it like we've shown before in the other videos. And what that did was I put it into the favorite section, John Rooster. All right. Now, obviously, this is a test um, case. And this, I'm going to unfavorite it first. So it's going to go back into near me. This is a test case. And this is uh, what we call live information. So I don't want to keep that in there. So I'm going to show you actually how you can modify this as well, too. So at the bottom, you see settings. And um, online memorials is my design memorials in there. And now you can see all the memorials that this particular account designs. You only see the, the memorials that you design. So I designed John Booster. So I could click on it just to see what it looks like again. But if I want to make changes to it, I would then slide it over to the left. And I get two options. I can click on the pencil and that'll let me change the date and time. Let's say I had the wrong date and time on there. Or if I had the wrong location, I could change that information. But in this scenario, in this case, we really want to just delete it because it wasn't valid anyway. So I'm going to click the garbage can. So it's going to confirm and I'm going to say yes to delete. And now if I go back to online memorials, it's still there because it hasn't refreshed. But if I refresh it, it disappears because it's no longer there. So that's the way that you can actually create your own